Hello, uh, my name is Michael Young, and today I'm working with Ontario Pork, and we're going to review some of the methods that are out there for stuffing um, delicious Ontario pork. So we're going to look at something that's a little bit different with a boneless pork loin, and this is actually a very common in Europe. You see it uh, throughout uh, Germany, Czechoslovakia, Switzerland, uh, and it's a very common way for adding value to um, larger pieces of meat. So I'm going to present to you both a chop version and a roast version. Of course, you select the size of roast or piece of meat that you want to work with. So I'm going to use a piece about this big. And the first part of the process is to do a double butterfly. So a double butterfly cut is simply coming across the loin about three centimeters down. And you want to cut it lengthwise, opening it up like this. That's the first cut. The second cut is you turn the roast around and you repeat the process in the other direction, maintaining the same thickness. What I've simply done is I've opened up this um, piece of pork loin. All of the thicknesses are about the same and this gives me a larger area to work with. The second part of the process is I'm going to add the seasoning and I'm just using a very, very light uh, seasoning salt. The first step is uh, going to be to put some spinach down. I'm going to start that about four centimeters from the edge of where I will be rolling the roast. I'm doing that so that I can get a nice clean spiral on the inside. Now the advantage of stuffing a roast like this as opposed to the more traditional method which seems to be put all the stuffing in the middle is the pork and the stuffing will all cook evenly when you roll the stuffing up inside. Next I'm going to put down some nice black forest ham and again I'm starting about four centimeters from the edge and then I'm going to lay down the Swiss cheese. Now one of the reasons why I put the spinach down first it's because ham is a cured product. And when you put a cured product with a raw product, there is a reaction to the nitrites in the ham, which can cause the meat to uh, slightly discolor. You can get around that by, by laying down the spinach first, and then the ham on top, and then the cheese on top of that. So I've laid this out. I'm going to fold the first layer over and then roll it up. You can use a jet netter if you're used to it. The jet netters work very well. I'm going to string tie it. I'm going to be careful not to pull the strings too tight because I don't want the flavors to cook out of the product. So now that I have a nice fully stuffed roast, I can simply either roast it or I can cut it into uh, larger size pieces that can be grilled baked or barbecued just by cutting between the strings. So you have two applications. This is an excellent roast for oven roasting inside or rotisserie roasting on the outside. Um, in terms of the smaller portions, it can be pan fried, can be grilled, and can also be cooked on the barbecue. Again, you want to be careful not to use too high of a heat because you don't want to lose all of the flavors. And obviously the thicker the, the steak cut, the better chance you have of, of keeping those flavors inside. For more information about retail and food service programs to support your business, visit OntarioPork.com. Thank you.